Hi, I'm Matt Thompson. I'm an ophthalmologist at Tower Clock Eye Center. Today I want to talk about a procedure known as a superficial keratectomy. This is a procedure that takes place on the surface of the cornea to remove irregularities or scars. It's useful for very superficial scars, such as uh, something called a Salzman's nodule, which is really like a callus on the surface of the eye caused by chronic dryness or irritation. The other main condition that it's used for is something called epithelial basement membrane dystrophy, which is basically a long complicated term for wavy skin on the surface of the eye. Both of these things can cause a decrease in the quality of the vision. They can cause a lot of astigmatism and irregularity. Both of the conditions are treated the same way uh, by numbing up the eye and then using a microscope to have good visualization and removing the very uh, top layer of the cornea, which would be the skin or the epithelium. Typically, uh, underlying this top layer of irregularity, uh, the connective tissue called the stroma is still quite smooth. And if you remove the surface irregularities, the eye will heal back to have a smooth surface all on its own. Now we want to protect the eye while it's doing that, and we use a variety of different eye drops, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, lubricating drops, and often we'll use something called a Band-Aid contact lens, which is just a contact lens with no power in it. It's there to protect the surface of the eye while it heals. Uh, so with a combination of those eye drops and the bandaged contact lenses, the skin on the surface of the eye will usually heal back in a smooth, regular fashion that improves the vision. If for some reason the skin heals back bumpy or irregular, or there's a callus that reforms over time because of continued chronic dryness or irritation, this is a treatment that can be repeated uh, if the problem returns. There are some other more rare conditions that we do this treatment for, and there are some conditions that we can't use this treatment for, such as deeper scars uh, from serious trauma or bad infections. Uh, but for a lot of patients, this will remove scarring and improve the vision and can be quite useful.